Hello, HWE1050 Human Nutrition folks. Welcome to week two. So it's been a moment since I posted a video. Um, we have just finished our first week of the course and I'm hoping that everyone is feeling a little more comfortable with the way that the cl class is um, arranged and what is expected of you. So hopefully you had a, um, a nice week exploring chapter one. So we were looking at nutrition, um, our food choices and what impacts those food choices. So socially, how that impacts our food choices, economically, um, emotionally, all those um, outside uh, external factors that influence what we eat on a daily basis and there's lots of them right so if we think about that we have um, lots of things to navigate through every day multiple times a day when it comes to our food choices and what we're selecting so hopefully you found that first chapter interesting as we're um, going to delve straight into it here uh, this week with chapter two um, we are looking at those tools or guidelines or recommendations out there that help us make healthy choices, that help us design a diet that works for us, that fills all those um, little slots that give us the nutrition that we need. So um, minimizing then our risk for developing nutrition related diseases. We'll talk about some of those as well. Um, how there's a lot out there uh, disease wise that uh, is certainly impacted by what we eat or what we don't eat. Um, and then uh, making wiser choices that minimize those risks for developing certain diseases. So Delving into chapter two, um, we will look at the My Plate. With a, I'm sure some of you are familiar with that. That is put out by the USDA of um, the federal government. So it will be interesting to hear your viewpoint on uh, My Plate, um, and perhaps I will share mine with you as well. So um, I'm going to start grading your week one discussion. I didn't jump in this week; just kind of wanted to see what you guys came up with. I will read each and every one of them and provide some feedback this week um, and then probably pop in this week and um, jump into the discussion. So don't be nervous if I'm posting to your post. Uh, and I think the last thing that I wanted to touch on that I noticed when I was putting in some grades this morning was um, that not all of you took the chapter one quiz, which is not uncommon as people are kind of sifting through the course and getting their ducks in a row with the semester. However, if you didn't see the quiz and you didn't take it because you didn't see it, you did not take the soft chalk lesson. So remember each week, and I will say it over and over again, just to, to have a friendly reminder for each of you, please email me if you have questions about this. You have to take the soft chalk lesson for the quiz to show. So it's a, um, a, re a conditional release. So you must take that soft chalk lesson and pass with 80% um, 80 percent or higher for the quiz to um, appear so please make sure you take this off chalk lesson it's unlimited attempts to get the 80 percent so keep on trying keep on taking it it's more just um, kind of the a repetitive nature to see what you know and then to kind of get your uh, mind thinking about the concepts and then really dive into the chapter and learn more through um, through the ebook. So let me know if you have questions. So soft chalk first, read the chapter, then take the quiz and you should be set. Um, if anyone is still having troubles with accessing the ebook through McGraw-Hill, I think I got it taken care of. I know I heard from a couple of you. Um, so it should be good to go. But if it isn't, please, please, please tell me so I can get it figured out for you or everyone or whatever that might look like. Lastly, I had Cadence ask a question about the first homework set, um, which is not due uh, today or tomorrow or this week, but um, she asked, uh, there's multiple assignments in the homework set, um, 
So just to reiterate, you only need to complete one of those assignments in the, in the homework set. It's just your choice. So whichever chapter interests you the most, you can do that assignment and just turn in one. If you turn in more, you did extra work. I'm still only going to grade one. So, okay. Have a great Monday. It's Monday, August uh, 29th, and we are having our um, second go round with this um, with this semester. So week two, chapter two. So enjoy, and then email me if you come across any questions. We'll just talk to you soon.